In this tutorial, I'm gonna help you guys fix this issue with iTunes and your iPhone where the iPhone is not showing in iTunes. So first thing you need to do is go ahead and connect your iPhone to your computer. And once you connect the phone to your computer, you wanna right click here on the window squares and go to device manager. Under device manager, you're gonna see an option there called universal serial controllers. Go ahead and click that. Uh, what you want to do is you want to right click this here and do uninstall. And for those who does doesn't see this option here, go ahead and and follow the next step. You can forward the video. But for those who see this option here, go ahead and click right click and uninstall it. And then don't check this option here. Just click uninstall. In here you can just click no and just to confirm it did disappear so what you want to do now is you want to unplug your phone and then you want to plug it again all right and then you want to close iTunes and reopen iTunes again and after you do that, the iPhone should appear just like it did mine. If it didn't, then the next step for those who still having problems and couldn't see this option here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the description the drivers for your for Apple and support for your iPhone. And generally, if you go to your C drive, program files, common files, Apple, and then mobile device support drivers. This is the drivers that Windows uses for your iPhone. So for those that still having issues, what, you, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and, and download the files that I put on the description. And then once you download the files, look for this file here that says USB AAPL64. And you can put anywhere on your desktop or in your downloads folder and right click the file and you're gonna see this option here that says install go ahead and install it and then once you install that you go ahead and restart your computer and then when you plug in the phone and open iTunes the phone should be detected at that time alright so that's basically how you fix this issue with Windows and iPhone if you have any questions, any issues, leave your comment below and thank you for watching.